So now they say you know that in order to separate the emissions of the emissions, sorry, in order to separate the emissions from a radioactive source, they are subjected to a uniform electric field E perpendicular to their path, as shown in figure three. Okay? So we have an electric field that is going from left to right. Okay? All right? So we have an electric field going from left to right. Notice in this case that we have our electric field being parallel. Do we agree? Yeah. All right? So our electric field is parallel. Now, how do we obtain a parallel electric field? And a parallel electric field is produced between what? Parallel electric field. All right. All right, let's, let's kind of jog our memory. So if we have this um, charge right here, let, let me just draw it in. So if we have this charge being positive, right, the electric field around it will be, will be radially inward or outward, if it's positive. Outward. Right, it's going to be radially outward. Right? So this is the electric field that we get around a positive point charge. Right? Now for the negative point charge now, the electric field, it will also be radially, but inward or outward? Inward. 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 So now, in this case, now we're dealing with a sorry, we're dealing with inward. a yeah, inward. We're dealing with a parallel um, yeah. parallel field. I know gamma going straight through undeviated from the source. No. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get to that, but let's 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 break down in terms of what's going on. So we have this electric field in parallel. Now, how do we get a parallel electric field? Let me see if Shakira is telling us. Okay. All right, how do we get a, a parallel electric field? Let us say, all right, let me see if I can um, allow you guys to see what's going on. So let us say we have this and this. Right? Let me draw it over here. So we have this and this. What are these? Uh, what are two these? lines. Yes, good. Yes, yes. That, that's what I expected to say. <laughs> it's two lines, right? So we have these two lines, which represent two metals, right? Two metals, right? And we're connecting these two metals to, let us say, a battery like this. So when we connect these two metals to the battery, we're going to have the positive charges flowing right here and negative charges flowing right here. So we're going to have an accumulation of mm. negative here and we're going to have an accumulation of positive here. Let me use a different color. Accumulation of positive here. So in other words, what we're going to have is we're going to have two charged plates. So since you have these two charged plates, because th these two lines are representing two metal plates are two conductive plates. So we're gonna have this being positive and this being negative. So because we have this being positive and this being negative, we're gonna have an electric field between here, right? You mean neutral? No, no, we're gonna have an electric field. Mm. How would that electric field be oriented? Conventionally. No? You're gonna... um. Yes, from positive to negative. All right, all right, hold on a second. Oh, okay, say that again, Christine. From, I say conventionally first, and then I say from positive to negative. Right, from positive to negative. negative. So the electric field will be going from positive to negative, and it's going to be parallel. <clears throat> all right, it's going to be parallel from positive to negative. Because remember, the field lines, they always point from positive to negative. So these are parallel, like so. Okay. Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what we obtain between two parallel plates, two charged parallel plates, right? And the field always point from positive to negative. So therefore, in this case, we can consider that we will have two charged plates here. Okay. But yes. They don't. Huh? 
but they don't. So how are we supposed to actually know which part is negative and which part is positive to know where to put the alpha and the gamma? The exactly. From? Exactly. That is why we went through all of this to come to come to this. Because since it's pointing this way and the field lines always point from positive to negative, just as what we said right here, it therefore oh, means that... Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, this is I understand Right? Because, what is because the arrows going from left to right, it must mean that on the left of that plate is um, positive and the right is negative. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. David? Alpha and I alpha positive, they charge. Um, wait, wait a second, Christine. Somebody said something a while ago? Somebody said something. Yeah, I said I understand. Okay. Um, I want to hear from Tajay, David, and others. Everybody on the same page, Shakira. So let's continue with this thing. So where are we now? So we're talking about alpha, beta, and gamma, right? Now, we know that alpha, what's the charge on, on an alpha particle? Positive. Positive. Right? So if you have an alpha particle shooting oh, out from this. So right? Alpha going to the right. Alpha going, going like up. So, right? It's going to go like so towards the negative place. So this is our alpha particle. Right? Yep. So for our beta particle now, that is negative, right? So it's going to yeah. go to the left. To the left, like right. so. Right? Now notice the um, angles of deflection. Notice for the beta particle, right? It is deflected at a greater angle. Right? It is deflected at a greater angle when compared to the alpha particle, and it is due to the relative weight of each. Remember that a beta particle is simply an electron. Electron, yeah. The right, and the particle. electron is, is very light. So it's going to be deflected easily, easily towards yeah. the positive plate. While the alpha particle, no, it is heavy because it is essentially a helium nucleus, right? So it is heavy, so it's going to be deflected at a um, smaller angle towards the negative plate. Now, the gamma, no. Because it is neutral. I can pause there for a second. Wait, let me just put in this for a second first. So the, this one now, which is the gamma, will just go straight through unaffected. Yes, go ahead. Okay, I understand that beta going to the left because beta is a negative charge and the positive there and vice versa for the next time. But just re-explain why beta lower than alpha again. Okay, right. so, so think about um, if you have a mosquito flying toward you, right, and you, you swing your hand to swat him out of the air, right? You might swing your hand and you see that um, you know, he, he gets flung um, far in the far distance. In other words, minus one electron like that? In... No, no, just think about this example. So you have a mosquito, you can easily uh -huh. swat him out of the sky. Right, but if somebody throws, uh, I don't think that's the best definition because mosquitoes are hard to kill here. <laughs> really? So can I must stay with you guys up over there. But <laughs> but think about it. Guys, one day they like dragonflies. Yes, sometimes yeah. you're trying to you, you're trying to hit them and like them just get turbo power or something. Okay, I will think about it this way. It is quite easy for you to swat a mos mosquito out of the sky, but if somebody mm. was to throw one of those um shot shot footballs towards you and you try to swat it out of the sky it's going to be very difficult so the same thing is happening right here now if you consider the relative weight of each so a musk is very lightweight so it can easily get swat out of the sky while for a cannonball now it's going to take um much more force to swat it out of the sky so what is going to happen is that it's going to continue moving almost in a straight line and it's going to slowly deviate right towards the left like that because of their relative weight Okay. okay, and I remember I had Very bounced up a mean. question. Yes, huh? please. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. I had bounced up a question any time, remember, when they changed the, where the positive and the negative was? Okay. It's still the same and, idea. Uh, the same yeah, idea. but, like, okay, so, the gamma will still go straight through, right? But if the no. positive was on the opposite side and the negative on the left side, then we would still be drawing the alpha and beta like in the same, just switch it, but put it in the same, on the same level. Yes. So this is your um, alpha, this is your beta, this is your gamma. Same thing. 
Same, same thing. Let me see. Let me see that. Like, I've got trying to chunks to see 